What's good, Internet? Faded Gamer here, and I just wanted to take some time out to discuss the next season of For Honor, Marching Fire. It's coming out in October. It's going to bring a whole bunch of new things to the game, like a new faction, a new 4v4 mode, and also I believe it's adding some new single-player content. I think I think I saw somewhere it's like an unlimited co-op or single-player mode or something like that, but I'm interested to see what they're going to bring, because I always suspected they'd bring something in when they added a new faction like some more some, some more stuff for the single player because they haven't touched single player so the first time they're adding to it, which is which I find interesting because I found the story to be to be moderate it was decent it's essentially a glor uh, tutorial with a story and stories are all right but I, I wanted to see what they want what they're ad willing to bring to it the new factions called the Wu Lin they're based off of ancient Chinese warriors. What I really like about them is one of them looks like Guan Yu from Dynasty Warriors. I'm a very big fan of that fan of that franchise. So when I saw him in the uh, Ubisoft press conference, it hit a really high nostalgic, like nostalgic note for me. As for like the new uh, 4v4 gameplay mode they're bringing, it's called Breach. It's essentially like a castle siege, which is really interesting. It looks like it's actually a combination of Dominion with a little bit of tribute, and also like some elements from from like the single player aspect because there is there's a I, I distinctly remember when you play as the warden there's a you, you have to like uh, escort a battering ram to a gate it was actually it was one of the funner parts of the game for, for, for me for the single player and it always it always got me thinking like they could possibly make like a multiplayer version of this and with breach I think that's what they kind of have there as for the as for the characters I, I was actually able to see some gameplay with the with the new characters in them and What's interesting about the new character is I, I like that they're bringing their own little aspects to it. Not just with the type of unique moves that they're going to be doing. Also the feats that they get. Uh, I've, I've heard there are going to be some different feats. And I was only actually ever able to see some gameplay of the, the monk dude. The bald guy with the stick. And then the guy who likes to kick people. He has the sword. Uh, those two guys look pretty interesting. And then like, at first I wasn't really as interested as with either of them. Until I actually started to see how they play. And then, then you think there's a, there's a lot to them. And what, from what I've heard from the other two characters that we weren't able to see yet, um, there's a lady with the hook swords. I heard she can actually like do like a stun attack or something when you're blocking, or like she can grab your weapon when you're blocking or something. I have no, I gotta find, I gotta do a little bit more research on her. But for, as for the Guan Yu guy, I'm actually the most excited for him because he actually has a stance like the Nobushi where she steps back, but he when when he steps back, you can actually hold it, and if you hold it, you can actually regain stamina. Which that which makes me think that he probably his attacks probably cost a lot of stamina and his moves are slow, but I think that's gonna help mitigate that by being able to regain the stamina that quickly. Either way, I'm really excited for all the four characters. I'm gonna probably be making videos for all of them. I'm definitely gonna be playing them, and I can't wait to see how the the new single player mode is is going to be and what 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 they're really gonna add to the game. As for I also wanted to talk a little bit about E3 for a moment. Alongside For Honor, which was really excited, I saw I saw other games in the Ubisoft press conference and also other conferences. I what I would say is there were winners and losers this E3, but I would say that there was a video game in each conference that piqued my interest, which is cool. And I actually think I'm gonna make another video concerning like an, uh, another game that I saw in a uh, Fallout 76. I'm definitely gonna talk a little bit more about that game. As for this uh, this match, this is actually a pretty quick match. I'm going to let the rest of the gameplay play out. I'm the Faded Gamer, and I will see you in the next episode. Zone A. 